Hi friends, today we are going to see about Active Directory. So what is meant by Active Directory? First of all I will tell what is meant by Active Directory and we can go into the tutorial. First, Active Directory refers to the group of objects. The objects in the sense they can be attribute or the objects within the objects so for example a user a printer a group a organizational unit a contact and a fax etc etc so these things can be grouped in the active directory it can be managed it can be created it can be modified and it can be deleted and it those things are all managed in a centralized database so this is called as the active directory so let's go to the tutorial so for active directory to be in a working condition you need a valid server it can be of windows server 2008 to 2003 or 2012 or 2012 or 2 series and you need to install active directory that is adds and also the dns that is the domain name services so after installing it becomes a server and after that only you can be able to create the objects in the active directory so to open active directory you need to go to administrative tools so inside the administrative tools you can see active directory users and computer just open it and here you can see a valid domain and <coughs> the objects within the active directory so as I said these are all the objects within the active directory and I have the valid domain inside the domain that is inside the domain the objects are built and <coughs> let's see what are the objects which was inside the active directory and to check what are all the objects which can be created with the help of the active directory you can just right click and go to the option called new here you can see a number of options which can be created with the help of the ad that is a share folder users printers and so much things computers groups so much things are there so for example we can create a user just create a user one and this is going to give uh, the user login name as user one and by default it will take it as a user one and just select next this is it so I'm just going to view user two since the last account name was already in use so here I'm just going to select user must change the password at next logon selected and I'm just going to give the password I'm just going to give password never expired so sorry if these two things are enabled this one cannot be enabled so I'll just give the user cannot change the password and the password never expired so you select next here you can see all the things and select finish so the user 2 was created and right now I'm just going to create the group Sorry. here I'm just going to give group name as user 
uh, group and let it be a global group and since I'm not going to use exchange over here it was a security group just select next and I'm just going to go to the properties of this user too here you can see all the things and for example <coughs> you can see all the information about the user here all the address and the account details such as logon or log out host you can also unlock the account from here and the account expiry duration and the password details you can set up here and the profile data say you can here you can select the profile path on the logon script which needs to be enabled whenever the user logs in and uh, here you can select the home folder and you just select here each and every time if the client logs in in your system then a drive will be mapped up to the user and here you can give the telephone numbers and the organization details and the complex ports and the remote desktop service that is a remote desktop profile path and the remote control settings for the user and here you can give or add this user to a group I'll tell afterwards and here you can give the dialing settings where you are going to give the network access permission that is if you are going to run a VPN server then you need to change the settings in this area and here you are going to give the environmental variables here and the sessions here so right now <coughs> you are seeing the user prop user two properties so I will go to the group which I have created that is a user group I will go to properties here you can see the group scopes that is a domain local global and universal uh, about this I will explain about it later and the group type um, and here you can see the members of this group and the member of uh, that means if this group is member of another group then it will be displayed in this place and it is managed that is uh, you need to configure the delegation in this area that is uh, by which user this group was managed by and right now I will explain you how to add the user to this group I'll just going to select the members I'm just going to select add and just type user 2 and give check names and it is selected and just give ok uh, it is added just give apply and ok that's it now the user is having a member like that you need to check it here whether the user was added to the group you can go to this part that is a member of you can see this user was a member of this group so it was successfully added so like this you can create a computer contact group and printer user share folder msm SKU, msm imaging and ini talk so all the things can be created in this place and i uh, you can also create the separate ou in this domain so for creating the ou you need to go to select the domain you just need to right click the domain you just go to new and here you can see organization unit to select it i just give it as test test ou i just select ok so here you can see the ou was created i'm i'm just going to drag and drop this user into this ou so that it will get moved into this OU from users to test OU so I am just going to move another user to this OU I am just going to drag and drop this so at this point you can get a pop-up window here that is a uh, whenever you are going to move a user from one OU to another OU the permission which was applied to the OU will not be applied to the fresh OU which you are going to move so you need to be conscious in moving the 
users from one OU to another OU. So the group policies may be applied to one OU and if you move a user to that OU, that group policy only be applied to that o user which was moved newly into that OU. So you need to be conscious and you just select yes here and it will be successfully moved here. So like this you can create the users, groups and OUs etc. So this is a basic task for creating the users and the groups in this Active Directory users and computers and we can see in detail about how about creating other objects. So thank you for watching the video.